Christopher Lance Kens, ONZM is a former all-rounder who played for the New Zealand international cricket team, the Black Caps, and is son of former New Zealand cricketer Lance Kens. He starred in both the One Day and Test New Zealand teams, as well as the Canterbury New Zealand domestic championship team. Kens also captained the Black Caps on seven occasions, usually when regular captain Stephen Fleming was unavailable. He was described by Shane Warne, the Australian leg spinner, as the best all-rounder in the world. Kens finished his test career with a batting average of 33.53 and a bowling average of 29.40. In 2000, he was named as one of five Wisden Cricketers of the Year. After his playing career Kens went on to become a commentator with Sky Sport New Zealand. Career Kens was a destructive batsman who could hit sixes straight down the ground and in his earlier days was an intelligent fast-medium bowler. Since then, persistent injuries have forced him to drop his pace and rely more on his hard-to-read slower ball. With the bat, Kens has been the author of some of New Zealand cricket's most memorable innings, including his unbeaten 102 to win the final of the 2000 ICC knockout trophy for New Zealand against India and Kenya and his 158 from just 172 balls in a test against South Africa in 2004. Cairns knocked Shane Warne out of Australia's bowling attack during a 2000 test in Wellington when he launched several sixes out of the basin reserve and onto the adjacent street. Cairns formally held the world record for most sixes in tests, and for a time held the New Zealand record for fastest century in ODIs. With the ball, Cairns' career best performance was 7 27 against the West Indies in a test in 1999, and he is New Zealand's fourth highest wicket taker in tests, after Richard Hadley, Daniel Vettery, and Chris Martin. He is also one of only seven players to have reached the all rounders double of 200 wickets and 3,000 runs. Out of these seven players, Cairns reached a double second fastest behind Ian Botham. In ODIs, Cairns came close to another double of 200 wickets and 5,000 runs. Cairns finished his ODI career on 49.50 runs, just 50 short. Cairns' test batting average at number 7 is the fifth best average for that position of all time. The New Zealand Herald journalist, Richard Book said about Cairns, it's not a scientific measure of course, but if Cairns' body had held together long enough for him to have played 100 tests, his figures extrapolate out to something like 53-34 runs and 351 wickets a Euro very similar to those of both them. He went on to say he was, and should be remembered as, one of the game's best all-rounders. Cairns also played in the World Cricket Tsunami Appeal ODI, at the MCG. Cairns played for the ICC World Eleven and scored 69 off 47 balls before being stumped by Kuma Sonjakara off the bowling of Mati Amur during his innings, Cairns put a 91-run partnership on with captain, Ricky Ponting. With the ball, Cairns picked up one a Euro 37 off six overs. Injuries plagued Cairns throughout his career. There remains some debate over his statistics and how they reflected his ability. In Cairns' career he played 62 tests and missed a further 55 due to injury. Sid Hearth Monger writing in 2009 that Cairns' career returns were a poor justification of his prodigious talent. Cairns also played for Northland in the Hawke Cup. Retirement Cairns retired from the New Zealand Test team in 2004. On January 22, 2006, Cairns announced his retirement from ODIs in a press conference. A 2020 match against the West Indies on February 16, 2006 was his last game representing New Zealand. He was also part of the ICC World Eleven that played in the World Cricket Tsunami Appeal matches. The New Zealand Herald compared his retirement to those of Michael Jordan and Japaragraph R.N. Borg on February 15, 2006. Cairns also left the door open for a comeback, but said I don't think I could ever be tempted back. In Cairns' final game, he bowled four overs for 24 on no wicket and scored a nine-ball duck, before being bowled by Chris Gale. He also missed the stumps in both attempts during the bowl-off. Chris Info described his final international as an unfitting farewell, and that he deserved better. He has joined the Indian Cricket League, and was the captain of the Chandigarh Lions till 2008. 
He is currently playing for Nottinghamshire in the English 2020 Cup competition. His sister Louise was killed at Ralston in an August 1993 train accident. In September 2008 he completed a 1001 km walk promoting rail safety awareness. Cairns is married to Melanie Crozer, an Australian who works for the sports marketing group Octagon in Sydney. It is his third marriage. Cairns lives in Canberra and will start playing for the local club North Canberra Gungahlin Eagles in the 2011 December season. In his first he scored 141 off 66 balls, including 13 sixes. During this knock his last 90 runs came off 27 balls. Statistics, test centuries, in the column runs, indicates being not out. The column title match refers to the match number of his career. One day international centuries, his third century helped New Zealand to win their maiden title in an ICC award. So far this title remains the only victory for New Zealand in an ODI tournament involving teams more than two. Test 5 wicket hauls, during the Lord's Test against England, he bowled England wicket-keeper Chris Redd for zero. Reid was ducking to the ball, what he thought was a beamer from Chris Kens but was in fact a well-disguised slower ball. One day international 5 wicket hauls, alleged match fixing, in December 2013. Cairns was the subject of allegations in an ICC investigation into match-fixing. Former New Zealand cricketer Lou Vincent and his ex-wife Ellie Riley alleged Chris Cairns as a cricket match-fixing ringleader, who was heavily involved in match-fixing. However Chris Cairns continuously rejected these claims. He is alleged to have attempted to manipulate games, including in India when he was captain of the Chandigarh Lions in the short-lived Indian Cricket League the current New Zealand captain Brendan McCullum also reported an alleged match-fixing approach by Chris Cairns to the Anti-Corruption and Security Unit of the International Cricket Council, but Cairns insisted that he has never fixed a match, and blamed his former New Zealand cricket teammate for false accusations. In March 2012 Cairns successfully sued former Indian Premier League Commissioner Lalit Modi for libel, after Modi posted on Twitter in 2010 that Cairns had been involved in match-fixing during 2008. He won costs and damages. Notes External links, Player Profile, Chris Cairns from Aspen Chris Info, Chris Cairns from New Zealand Cricket